Welcome. This is the Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It's the 23rd of September. Topics for today include action items, DevOps World 2022 next week, Hacktoberfest. Meg, any other topics we should add? Okay. Then let's, whoops, where did my... All right, so action items. Uh, archive the docs mailing list is gonna have to wait until after, probably wait until November because of travel schedules and whatnot. Be warned that I'm out of the office next week and October 10th through October 27th. Sorry that we lost you there, Meg. Yeah, sorry. I think my network is being flaky. All I'm right. Back. Well, so action items, no progress. DevOps world. I did embed a link to the multiple blog posts for DevOps worlds that have come in over the last roughly month or so. Really great work from various people. So Bruno oh, Verachton, Tim Jacome, um, John Mark Mason, Alyssa Tong, uh, three or four or five others. So some of the best, this is, I think, the single best collection of blog posts we've had in a very long time. Excellent. And the Modernizing a Plugin blog post has been, has oh, I should update that, has been merged. Yay. Oh, wait a second. Why isn't that listed in that list? Oh, there it is. Improve a plugin. So it's there and... It includes all the links. Special thanks to Diraj for his work. And we're, we're set for it. We're gonna use that, that, that tutorial will be the basis for a workshop that we do at DevOps World. All right. Yep. So now the, the crucial one for today, Hacktoberfest. So Europe Office Hours did some more work on Hacktoberfest and let's take a look at that. So we've got, Kevin submitted a proposal to take out one item from this list. And I think it was a, it's already been merged. So there are some, for instance, the newcomer friendly issues, that's a good one for people. There are others that I'm not sure they are as ready. For instance, I'm not sure we've got enough reviewers on Jenkins File Runner to keep it there. Uh, it was being actively reviewed while, while it was in Google Summer of Code, but I'm not sure that Chris is available still to review. Okay. Uh, the Prometheus plugin, likewise. So I think, and Tecton, I'm not sure that there we need to ask their contributors. Now, the, the artwork, yes, because that's the doc sig. Oh, oh, speaking of which, Meg, I needed to ask you, we've been a long time uh, without... Uh, with you acting as a triage person, would you like to become a copy editor? We had said we were going to do it, and I just did it oh. with, with Kevin Martins. If you will, if you're interested in, we could make. You I'm a copy happy to. Well. My concern is that I'm so uninvolved with the project now. Is it appropriate? But I'm certainly happy ah. to. Well, you you think about it, and when when I get back, say towards early November, we talk about it again. Because okay, I don't and, feel and think I don't about feel what you need for me to be to have me be that. Right. Is the, it? The, I mean, if you need me to have those permissions, so when everybody else is on vacation, I could step in occasionally and help out. That's good. And and that may be the 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 model because what we're seeing right now is we only previously had two copy editors, me and Tim Jacom, and I'm going to be out, and Tim's going to be out next week. So having Kevin with permissions means, okay, we've still got somebody who can merge things to Jenkins.io, but having you as an additional backup might be a good thing, knowing full well that, hey, it's not going to be a heavy activity for you. It's more, oh, we're in a, in a, a need for you right now. Could you help us for this brief period? Mm -hmm. And I'm certainly willing to do that. I'm just finding well, I think Oleg and I are both. Oleg still loves Jenkins, but I don't think he's doing much with it. It's it's hard to serve two masters. Absolutely, and and that's understandable, right? We've got to we've got to maintain some sense of balance in our lives. Yeah. Okay. So 
Now, one of the things that came out of that, out of the Hacktoberfest discussions was how do we, this is something that Kevin and Bruno observed earlier today, how do people know which plugins they should approach? And one of the things was that, oh, and it looks like, did we not get that copy into the, oh, here it is, good. So, so one technique was this page which is a list of plugins that need their documentation converted from wiki to GitHub. And now the worry is, I don't know which of these plugins the, the maintainers will actually be willing to review a pull request. And so what I did was sort of, sort of them by release date. Okay. And if they've released recently, and many of these have released recently, right? So the, uh -huh. the top 25, the, in fact, the top 30 have all released within the last 12 months. Okay. So there's a better chance that those plugins would be willing to review a pull request. I thought you'd said that all of the remaining plugins to be converted were problematic, but there are some that are not problematic. Well, in this case, the problem is getting people to review the pull request. Oh, okay. And so the, the thought was, hey, okay, maybe what we do is we reach out to the maintainers of these plugins and ask them, would you be willing to consider a pull request to, to merge, to update your documentation, to move it from Wiki to GitHub? Okay, I was thinking that there was a category where the information that's in the Wiki is not good. So it actually needs a rewrite, not just a conversion. Ah, uh, and, and that could also be, but I think, if I look at this one, for instance, that's actually not a bad first yep. first look is, hey, that's not bad, but uh -huh. it's up for adoption. And because it's up for adoption, that really means it's not likely a great fit. Okay, it was released three, or three weeks ago, but it may have been released for a relatively special case reason. Let's see what the, uh, well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the the maintainer looks like it it may, yeah the maintainer is Alex Brandis and I'll see him at DevOps World so huh. so it may be worth a conversation. Let me grab I, just this. let me ask a question too. For a huh? plugin that's fairly active, if the content in the wiki is behind, are we still better off having it in wiki or getting it over into the main docs? Uh, oh no, it's much better in the main docs because no matter how good it is in the wiki, the wiki is not changeable. We can't, right. we can't update it. And so getting it into the main docs puts it close to the developer and close to other maintainers who can, who can update it as, as they make changes to the, the plugin they're maintaining. So I'm thinking that some of those, if we don't have somebody to review, we could still just convert the content review it purely from documentation standpoint. And mm -hmm. maybe we could market that this material needs to be, needs a good review. It's open yeah. source. Yeah, that, that's true. Well, uh, the, other, the other technique is we could just declare. So for example, there is, we could just declare we're going to, the, the docs office hours is going to adopt it long enough to do the merge. Uh -huh. That's a little bit odd, but hey, it works. We've, yep. we've, we've done adoptions temporarily for other reasons. If I look at, I'll show you one example of that. So in the plugin migration progress report, if we look for one of the popular ones here, Ansible, it has 21,000 installations and it's got a pull request open. Ah. It's mine okay. from a year ago. So, so obviously it's sat here for, for a, a long time without making progress. Or this one, MS build, the pull request has merged, but there's not been a release of the plugin since the pull request merged. Is that really ah. the case? No, wait a sec. That, that's hard to believe because no release since 2019. Okay, I've got to take a tour now. No, look at it. There it is. It released in 2020. So it has released. So why does that incorrectly say 
okay, now I've got to investigate, Meg. That may mean that my report's wrong. That report, yeah. because MS Build is here. No, it says it was released two years ago. So why is there a tag 1.30, 1.30, February of 2021. We're not in 2023. This is 18 months ago. Okay, so it's saying two years ago is, is a bit of a push. Huh. We're not subtracting months, just years. But yeah, except that the change, well, so maybe the change didn't make it into the release after all, but I, I thought that that pull request that had been merged was... Right where... Just a minute. Move doc. Oh, oh, February 26. But the release date was probably just before yeah, February 26. So it looks like it merged right after the last release. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. So, but this is one that actually John Mark and I have adopted. So we'll probably just release it. Right. So, okay. But I'm, so I'm starting to feel that like your newest grandchild is going to be in college and we're still going to be trying to catch, get all the plugins converted from Wiki. Sure. And, and, and I'm, okay. I'm starting to feel like I just, we did it right for some of them. And when we can't do it right, let's do something and mark it in mm -hmm. some way. So people know that, you know, the content, or we could file an issue for each one that we merge that we could not be sure whether the content is still accurate or we're suspicious of it. And well, we and could file issues to review this. See, we've we've actually got that, right? This okay. this report, this report already tells us exactly that because what it says is, hey, look, here are the things that are okay. If I sort by status, I can look at, oh, let's look at instead of okay, let's look for PR merged. And there will be a few that will be listed as that the pull request has merged, but not been released. And a bunch of them have been deprecated. So there's no change necessary. Here we go. So PR is open or merged. Those are, those are actually, it's already telling us that. And we've, if we said, hey, we really want to push to get these things actually visible. Then we adopt the plugin and merge. Oh, now that's silly. I guess I'm I'm thinking about not visible to you, but visible to the garden variety user who comes and looks at the plugin and the plugin page for that plugin. Uh, I see. To know that you know, um, the you know, there's a small chance that the material here may be dated. Or, well, and and, know, and that's actually nice. that's on the page, right? So here it is. Help us improve this page. The page has this indicator that says this is coming from the wiki. Perfect. So, so we've actually got that. So, I, I don't think we're we're at at in a bad condition that way. And, and so this, we're all set up. Let's open up all of them. And if Hacktoberfest, and yeah, maybe in the docs office hour, we'll adopt them for five minutes and merge. Yeah, I mean, well, uh, yeah, let's, okay, that's- Am I being I mean, too wild-eyed and crazy? No, I think, well, I think it's an interesting idea because what if we said, hey, we're going to, and and we've, there's actually a convenient way to do it. Let's see, where was that? This one. Okay, so if we looked at this one and said, let's take the top 10 of these or top 20 and open, check each of them to see, does it have an issue report? that so i'm going to do exactly that close everything to the right i'm going to open this one okay it's up for adoption but let's check its open issues it does not have an open issue that says that it needs to be converted from the wiki so we go create one and 
go cre we create we create ourselves a template of the actually i think i've got a template of the wiki migration um, bug report and we put it in there and call it a good first issue the the challenge here is well yeah that's hoping that someone be will, would be willing to pick it up and that the maintainer is willing to review it if it's if it's picked up so and then i just click this re not you review it and we merge it anyhow well yeah then we then i have to do the adoption thing so but we do right. a all we have to do is click this report an issue let me see if I can find a boilerplate of that. Uh, Jenkins, Jira, Wiki, uh, my, uh, plugin doc migration to from Wiki to GitHub. Let's try that. Maybe there's something already in here. Migrate doc from wiki to GitHub for this. Yes. So we've got some of these. Now they're they're from two years ago, but we've right. got that we've got that content. And so here is here is a relatively recent one. Not nearly good enough. Okay, just a minute. I'm in danger here. Sorry, Meg. A project not not in security. And okay, there we go. Okay. Let's I don't know. See. Ask Tim and a couple of other people. I mean, but it's always. I mean, you've had to tell me sometimes that something, this is better than what we had, we're merging it, mm -hmm. even though it's right. not, you know, but we all were kind of all high achievers who are used to getting everything right before we, but to me, this is getting, this is two years we've been trying to get these things converted. And right. we still have a, you know, so we can't say all the information for plugins is here. Some of it's here and some of it's there. And well, there's a story for what's not there and it's, who cares? Right. Yeah, but somebody well, with more experience and knowledge should, than me should probably make that. Well, I mean, let's let's let's. Okay, there it is. There's one. So this one is another. Ex oops, yeah, another example. Hey, I'm not seeing any hints here about, oh, okay, one more helper. Uh, Jenkins Jira convert plugin documentation to GitHub. Okay, here's the original description. And maybe I can find that issue here. Well, Meg, I'm not, it's not turning out as easy as I'd hoped, but I think you've got a good point. Let me make a note to myself that the idea is, um, shall we, let's, let's get that additional sheet. It was where, no, that wasn't it. Hmm. Where was, oh, oh, no, I know. Right. 
Okay, Mark, John Mark, Bruno, and John Mark. Plugins uh, have some need for docs. Candidate plugins, yes. So this is contact or submit bug reports to the 20 most recently released plugins and then flag the bug reports as good first issues with links to the um, documentation to the instructions that describe how to fix the problem, how to, how to migrate the docs. Mm -hmm. All right, so I you think you that's- You wanna note a, under the only include plugins if maintainers agree to review pull requests. Yeah, the possibility good point. that we say that at this point, we're better to get this stuff converted. Right. And bury the wiki. Uh-huh. Let's put it out publicly and, Run it by some of these other people. Mm, yep. With more, I mean, it's not good that the text for the plugins isn't being maintained, but. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Good. Good idea. Now, I apologize. I'm sort of running up against my time for the for the effort. Are you okay if we call an end for today? I am. I have one. I have a two second one for you. An issue I did not file that we okay. talked about. Um, can you go to the Jenkins I/O docs? Sure and system administration uh -huh. and uh, it's something we talked about um re all those we talked about pulling all those reverse proxies into one section we just mentioned it that that would be something to do mm -hmm. and i thought that would be a good first issue it'd be easy and then i got looking at it and they're fairly long they are right and if and the subsections were not getting that table of contents in the upper left. Right. So like, I don't like the looks of the table of contents the way it is now, but now I'm starting, we just mentioned this in passing. If we wanna do it, it's a good first issue for Hacktoberfest. Well, so what if, what if we took, what if we took as a counter proposal this subset, the detailed one page at a time subset, uh -huh. and put right now, there is this configuration examples here at the bottom of this page. What if it moved up to the top here above general guidelines? Ah. And we took these out so that we would get have a better chance of getting rid of this vertical scroll bar. Okay. Because I think I think I thought your concern was system administration is just too long, right? There, this is showing information that that at most I have one of these reverse proxies, not more. Right. And so there is not not a lot of benefit to to show every one of them. Rather, reverse proxy configuration, if it's got ready hyperlinks for each of these this section replaces this block of six. Okay, and then where does the text go? The text stays exactly in the files it's in. So it stays stays in these these long files because they are long and complicated and very specific. Ah, but it does not here. show up in the table of contents. Exactly, that was my thought anyway. What do you think? Okay, I hadn't thought of that because I'm small-minded on these things. Well, yeah, I mean, that would. So we have we have our that because I was worried about putting it in, and then yeah, I'm looking for one of them, and I have to scroll through all this other stuff trying to find it. But yeah, we could put the links in. Yeah, I mean, okay, maybe. How about are you given the idea? How about let's um, let's test drive it and see if it's worth it. Here, we'll give ourselves five minutes and try it to see if the prototype looks as good as we hope. Because I think you and I can do this in five minutes live. Yeah. 
Yeah, so sysadmin, you reduce reverse proxy TOC, right? So let's uh, yeah. proxy. Actually, where we've got those configuration examples, they're a one-to-one -one mapping, I think we could have how to do reverse proxy and configuration examples, right? Okay. Or is so the, are the configuration examples actually already the links to those? They, they, I think they are exactly the links to those. Okay. So here we go. Let's, so first things first, we find this page. This is the page we want to improve. So we say, improve this page so I can get a link to its location. And here it is. Content doc book. Okay, got it. So, all right, content. Content doc book. And it was system administration, wasn't it, Meg? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's right. It's it's the admin book. So it's. Yep, those are identical. Okay. System administration. <laughs> All right. And now here we go. So right now what we have is in the chapter, we have Proxer config, Apache, Nginx, HA proxy, squid, IIS, and IP tables. Yep. Okay. So we take those out. And then we, let's see. Oh, and then we said the top level page, really, I think we should move this up above general guidelines so that it's above the fold when the user reads it. Right. Now, test driving. Although, you know, it's not that far, even on my laptop, when I open reverse proxy configuration, I see configuration examples. What oh, you do? I did not, but the title, you know what, the configuration examples doesn't tell me that that's specific information by proxy. Ah, okay. So maybe, maybe a we need title. to change the title. So I don't know what it is. Yeah, well, but. so let's take a, okay. So here is here is the current page. And now let's look at it in you know, the running process. I'll go down to reverse proxy, look at reverse proxy. Okay, so here's the same page in the prototype. So um, current page prototype. So it takes out the vertical scroll bar. Uh-huh. And now what did you want to see? Oh, okay. Um, so go the, um, the reverse proxy, the general one. See there, okay. you see configuration examples, but I don't know what configuration examples are. Right. Are so let's look at that same page here. Is that, well, how would we name it if not configuration examples? What do you think would be a better name? So what I'm trying to, I want something by proxy. What, if, what are these things? Apache and NG, are those by proxy type or? Uh, well, let's ask a question, yeah. Types what? of HTTP reverse proxies. What is a reverse proxy? Okay, so let's see what it offers. So a proxy server, how is a reverse proxy different? How to implement it? Isn't it funny? I I don't know these, uh, these terminology, you know, mm -hmm. it's trivial. So a reverse proxy front of backend applications and forwards client requests to the applications. Yeah. 
inspects the request, determines it's valid, and forwards the request. Are these things web services? Are they? Yeah, yeah, they will. And uh, I, I would hesitate. I think the word reverse, maybe it should just be reverse proxy examples. But or, it's still, there's still, I want to, I want to know that this is specific, you know, examples for specific web servers. Is that? Okay. Yes. Well, so the challenge there is that Squid is not a web server. It's oh, really yeah. a proxy server and HA proxy likewise. IIS, Nginx, Maybe it's by proxy Apache server. Also. Maybe that works. So I want something to confuse. If I say, I'm just looking for Squid. Uh huh. That I that tells me, go. You know, this list is going to include something about squid. Okay. Well, so let's let's. How about this? You said, convic configuration examples by reverse proxy. No, by, by proxy. proxy server. By okay. Proxy by server proxy type. server. But how about by server type? Yeah. Okay. So just a minute. I need to put in configuration i need to put in a tag so that it will still have the old label available okay good now uh, back to where we were configuration examples by server type i like that think? better that tells me something that they're not just you know rando examples right okay well and this this for me still gives me easy access to whoops now why didn't that work the way i thought it should huh now that's most interesting is it broken on this page and i haven't known it no that works just fine Is it broken because I didn't, I took it out of the chapter? Huh, okay, so it wasn't as fast as I'd hoped because right. something's wrong with the, the prototype. And it, oh, oh, wait a sec, it may just be this. Shoot, I'm working in Markdown now, and I'm starting to lose ASCII, Doctor. <laughs> uh, well, I'm one... thinking that that in the source code, that there are there can be subsections to the library or something where that they don't show. Could be, yeah. Well, and, and I can always do this, right? I can always make it absolutely explicit like that. Ah. I think this will work no matter what. So let's try it. Unless somehow what's happened is the page generator has actually chosen not to generate the page at all. Yeah. No. So something, something different is going on here because that's failing to build the page. Singleton. Oh, well, let's go read the read the log file. Okay, undefined method greater than for nil nil class. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is taking too long. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'll agree with you on that, but now I'm curious. So I'm gonna give myself <laughs> just moments more. Oh, it could be that. Maybe. Why is nothing ever as simple as it should be? Oh, well, why, why don't I understand how these systems work? And the answer is because I don't. If I understood them, we wouldn't have this problem. Yeah, so it's, 
you're right. I have the the experiment did not pan out the way I had hoped. So I can write an issue that says we want to we'll do this and we'll make mm -hmm. it so that we'll change that title. Uh huh. You know, actually, let me write that down because my mind's a sieve. What was the title we ended up with? Because I think it's pretty good. Config examples uh, by. Configuration examples by service, by type. service type. Yeah. Okay. So we'll change the title. The we'll change that header, and then we need to make it so that the content can be linked from that list, but does not show in the left frame TLC. Correct. And that's the issue. Right. And while you go prepare for DevOps, I will file an issue. All right. Is that Thanks, a good first issue? That I think that's a good first issue. Yes, that's <laughs> that's you a relative... and I figure it out. We'll let some junior person do it. Well, it's a, it's a it shouldn't be a tough structural thing to do. And yes, they may they may find that oops, I failed in my attempt. Okay, this now works. So, okay, so the magic then was the fact that so the change of the layout here moving the configuration examples up is not what broke it what broke okay. it is that i had removed so let's try it let's try one more experiment we're going to delete just ha proxies Okay, reloading this page. Notice that HA proxy is not in the table of contents here, but is listed right there. I can navigate to running with Apache. I can do the Nginx thing from here. But when I try HA proxy, it fails. So it's that there's something about the page navigation that's causing it to want that there must be an entry on the left for a page on the right and that may mean that we have to move the page down one level so this is this i think this has failed the good first issue test okay it's a good issue it's just not a good first issue right because i suspect what we'll have to do is create a subdirectory to hold those and and that's now a level of complication that i wouldn't want a first time contributor to be involved with yeah all right Hi. meg okay thank you i will for your file time. an issue you go get ready for devops we have no meeting next week you said no meeting next week cool See have you a in wonderful two. time at devops be brilliant i know you will all right you on your worst days will be a delight for the students they will learn a lot right. and love you, so. thanks meg we'll see you okay take care bye-bye